Mama Emily Ocholi Wabuti was born a twin in 1943 to the late Jonathan Atulu and the late Rufena Ambale at Ebutuni village. She was the second last born in a family of six children. She was sister to the late Abednego Nyende, the late Meshak Aburiri, the late Ros Bella Ayoti, the late Alfred Etabale, and the late Naftali Lubanga. Education. Mama Emily attended school up to primary level. Her marriage. In the year 1963, February on a Monday, Mama Emily got married to Mze Richard Mirikawu Wabuti Chikombe. The husband, Mze Richard, paid her a dowry of six cows. They solemnized their marriage in 1986 at Mbleche KAG Church, presided over by the late Bishop Weekly Lukandu. They were blessed with seven children, namely Josephine Chikombe, Jemima Eshikumo, John Okwako, Roba Yambale, Lorna Ndakala, Silas Lubanga and Nicholas Nikuli. She was the grandmother to Victor Mirikau, Bon Pesakwa, Daphim, Redemta, Duncan, Nelly, Eric, Onesmas, Happyman, Baraka, Gloria, Agape, Philadelphia, Nazarene, Hope, Easter, Praise, Gloria, Wesley, Joseph, Fortune, Favor, Hadassah, Michal, and Wanda. The great grand grandchildren were seven, and she was an aunt to many. Religion. Mama Emily was raised in an SEK. Later, she received Christ as a savior and joined Pepper Church in 1968 at Eshishebu. Thereafter, she joined Kenya Assemblies of God, KEG, in 1971 at Eshibulu under the leadership of Pastor Obedohanga. From 1974, she, was, she has been a, a women leader at church level and section level up to date. Mama Emily, together with her husband, Mr. Richard Wabuti, were devoted to serving the Lord and decided to offer a church plot where the church was put up in 1982 under KEG cover. This has been key to the salvation of this home as well as the whole community around. Mama Emily was a great soul winner work. She was a preschool teacher, that is nursery then, and emulete at Emulete SK, and she has been also a successful farmer for many years. Sickness. On 13th May 2021, Mama Emily fell sick. She was complaining of a severe headache. She collapsed and was assisted by Redemptor and Zipporah who are her grandchildren. They immediately rushed her to St. James Amenity Butere, where she was admitted and the doctor advised for a CT scan. After a CT scan, she was referred to St. Mary's Mears, where she was admitted and treated for four days. After treatment, Mama Emily improved and she has been well. On Saturday, 6 May 2023 at night, she started complaining of chest pain and vomited. On Sunday morning, she was rushed to St. James Amenity Hospital, Butere, by her son, Nicholas. On arrival, the doctor attended to her immediately, and she was diagnosed with malaria and some bacterial infection in the blood. The doctor prescribed some drug which she was to go and take from home. While the son, Nicholas, was picking drugs at the pharmacy, she collapsed. Doctors tried to attend to her, but their efforts could not change anything. 
Mama Emily had gone to be with the Lord. God gave us mom and God has taken her. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Precious is the sight of the Lord in the death of the righteous. That is Philippians 1.21. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Amen. Wana sifiwe. Amen. Epo nione mkono wako bwana sifiwe. Amen. Ni furaha kubwa kuwa mahali hapa. Ni sema ya kwamba maaskofu wote walioko hapa, wachungaji, makasisi wote pamoja na wote waombolezaji waliofika na hasa mzee wetu Reverend Wabuti na jamii yake ningetaka kusema poleni sana kwa sababu ya kuweza kuondokewa na mpendo wenu tuko hapa kwa sababu hiyo moja ya kuweza kuambia ya kwamba poleni na kuwaombea kwa sababu ni wakati mgumu sana ambao mnaopitia mimi majina yangu naitwa mchungaji Zablo na Lulu ni nakaa kakamega Reverend Wabuti pamoja na mama tulijuana miaka mingi iliyopita miaka ya 80 Nikiwa ninajiunga na mambo ya uchungaji nilimpata wao wakiwa wachungaji na tumefanya kazi kwa muda mrefu sana pamoja na wao kwa hivyo na wafahamu imekuwa hapa na leo tuko hapa kuweza kumsindikiza mama kwa sababu amemaliza kazi Mchana wa leo najua ya kwamba mengi yamezungumzwa na hata kuna taharuki watu wanataka kusafiri watu wanataka kwenda mbali mimi sitakuwa na mambo mengi sana ya kusema lakini sitazungumza kuhusu mama kwa sababu wengi wamezungumza mambo ya mama. Mimi niko hapa ili nizungumze na wewe pamoja na mimi ambao tuko hai tuliokuja hapa kwa sababu ya kuondokewa na mama. Tunajua tulimpenda mama. Watu wamesema vile amekuwa mzuri kwao. Ni mambo mazuri. Na mimi huwa na, ninaposikiza maneno ya watu wanapozungumza kwenye matanga huwa ninajiuliza swali moja nami wakati nitakapokuwa nimelala kama vile mama amelala watu watasema nini kunihusu kwa sababu maisha yangu yanajulikana na watu na mbali na watu kuzungumza baada ya kuondoka katika ulimwengu huu naye Mungu atasema nini kunihusu kwamba mwanadamu atazaliwa na ataishi hapa duniani. Kwa hivyo ni Mungu anayetenga wanadamu kuishi hapa duniani. Wa Hebrania 9 mstari wa 27. Maandiko inasema ya kwamba kwa sababu Mungu anatenga wanadamu waishi, pia imekwisha tengwa ya kwamba wanadamu watakufa. Mimi na wewe tunashukuru Mungu ametupa nafasi ya kuishi. Tunashukuru kwamba tunaishi hata leo. Na lazima pia tujue ya kwamba kuna siku imetengwa ambayo mimi na wewe tutaondoka hapa duniani. Leo ni ushuhuda kamili tumeona dada yetu ameondoka. Hatujui ni nani atakayefuata inaweza kuwa ni wewe au iwe ni mimi. Hiyo ni jambo lazima tujue ya kwamba tutaondoka. Na maandiko yanasema vizuri nisome maandiko hayo katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa pili sura ya tano. Wakorintho wa, wa pili sura ya tano. nataka tusome maneno haya kwa haraka haraka ili kwamba tuweze kufahamiana. Maandiko yanasema mstari wa kwanza kwa maana twajue ya kuwa nyumba ya maskani yetu iliyo ya dunia hii ikiharibiwa Tunalo jengo litakalo ku, litakalo kuwa kwa Mungu nyumba isi, isiyofanywa kwa mikono iliyo ya milele mbinguni maana katika nyumba hii kwa ugua tukitamani sana kuvikwa eh, kao letu litakalo litokalo mbinguni ikiwa kuisha li, eh, ikiwa tukiishi kwa vikwa, kwa kuvikwa hatuta on, uh, hatuta onekana tuuchi kwa sababu sisi tulio katika maskani hii twaugua tukilemewa 
si kwamba tunataka kuvuliwa bali kuvikwa ili kitu kile kipatikanacho na mauti kimezwe na uzima basi yeye aliyefanya eh, kuwa uh, aliyefanya kwa ajili ya neno lililo lililo hilo ni mbingu, ni Mungu aliyetupa arabuni ya roho basi siku zote tunayo moyo mkuu tena twajua ya kuwa wakati tuwapo hapa katika mwili tuka, tunakaa eh, mbali na Bwana maana twaenenda kwa imani si kwa kuona lakini tuna moyo mkuu nasi tuona ni afadhali kutokuwamo katika mwili wa kukaa pamoja na kukaa pamoja na Bwana kwa hiyo tena ikiwa tupo hapa au tukiwapo hapana e, e, tuki, e, tukiwapo hatu, a, tuki, a, hatu, wa, hatupo hapa twajitahidi kumpendeza yeye mstari wa kumi kwa maana imetupasa sisi zote kudhihirishwa mbele za mbele ya kiti cha hukumu cha Kristo ili kila mtu apokee ijara ya mambo aliyoyatenda katika mwili kadiri alivyotenda uh, kwa uh, kwamba ni mema au ni mabaya nimesema ya kwamba sisi zote tutaondoka hapa duniani kwa sababu huo ni mpango wa Mungu inaweza kuwa mapema au iwe imechelewa ni mpango ambao Mungu amepanga na hakuna mtu ajuae siku ambayo atakaoweza kuitwa lakini ni vema kuwa tunajua ya kwamba kuna siku ambayo tutakayoondoka hapa duniani mtumishi wa Mungu aitwaye Paulo alisema tunapoishi hapa duniani ni kama watu ambao wanaishi kwenye hema Hema ni makao ya muda si makao ya kudumu mwili wangu si wa kudumu na mwili wako si wa kudumu miili yetu ni kama temporary kwa sababu ni kama hema na anasema ya kwamba tuatakiwa kujua siku moja tutaondolewa katika hili hema ninajua kwamba bwana kuna watu wanaosikiliza mahali hapa ambao maisha yao yamepotea Shetani amewaingiza katika mambo yasiyofaa. Amewaingiza katika mila na desturi ambazo zinawapotosha na hata kuwaelekeza katika mambo ya giza. Bwana toaomba roho wako akawatembelee mchana wa leo na uweze kuleta mabadiliko katika matanga haya ya mama ili kwamba watu wakaweza kuridhi uzima na wakaingia katika uzima wa milele na isiwe mtu yeyote atapotea bali wote wawe na uzima kwa sababu walikuchagua wewe asante kwa kuwa unazungumza na mioyo yetu asante kwa sababu unabariki maisha yetu asante kwa sababu hatutabaki kama watu wasiojua bali tutakubali ukweli huu ukaweze kubadilisha maisha yetu kibali chako kiwe juu ya maisha yetu na ubariki mji huu na wote wanaotusikiliza mtana wa leo wanapochukua hatua ya kuishi kama wanao kuamini wewe kwa sababu wewe ndiye unayepeana uzima wa milele wewe ndiye unayepeana uhai utakaodumu daima milele pokea utukufu na heshima katika jina la Kristo Bwana na mwokozi tunaomba amen Bwana awabariki sana asanteni kwa kunisikiliza karibu Yana wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tutembe
Mimi ndio huo ufufuo na uzima. Yeye aniaminie mimi ajapokufa atakuwa anaishi. Na kila anayeishi na kuniamini atakufa hata milele. Wimbo simama juu ya nchi hata ngozi yangu itakapokuwa imeharibika hivi mimi nitamuona na macho yangu yatamtazama wala si mwingine wimbo tena
wa karibu peke yangu singeweza bwana na kuabudu wewe peke yako Ni 
nitaka nyumbani mwa bwana milele milele amina ni wewe baba ni wewe baba ni wewe bwana Safiri salama Mbona umetuacha Mado mapema Esenje we safiri salama Mbona umetuacha Mado mapema Emeli ocholi safiri salama Mbona umetuacha Mado mapema Emeli ochori safiri salama Bona umetuacha Bado mapema Mado siamino mandoka mapema Salumi ya mama Rebecca Ndakala Mwambire jami imara Mwanawe ya uberi Salumi ya Zenyende, ndiku yoko marehemu 
Mpe salamu Mwambie Mwanawe hamani Sasa ni mwimbaji Atabasamu Umtafute fania yako Umkumbatie Natamani ukarimu wenu Uturudie Tuliwapenda sana Laleni salama Emeli ocholi safiri salama Kona umetuacha Bado mapema Emeli ochori safiri salama Wana umetuacha Bado mapema Pole zangu kwa baba Richard Wabuti mirikau Na binamu zangu Josephat Jemima John Robai Lona Silas na Nicholas Wacha mungu awatie nguvu Roni Classic Rest in Peace Senje Ok Mic check It's a special dedication to Grant Prophetess Emily Ochol Nabi Nanji uliza maswali Ni vipi umeondoka Minapowaza kwa undani Hata kina mama kanisani Wana shindwa vipi ukaondoka Nilipo pata ya bari Siku amini niliona Halo ni pa mama mzazi Halo pa mama makazi Nataba samu ulo piga juma mosi tare sitali Nani pa mima shaka nikiwasa Halo ni pa mama mzazi Halo mpa mama makazi Nataba samu ulo piga juma mosi tare sitali Nani pa mima shaka nikiwasa Amini yote ni mapenzi ya mua Kisema nani ya pige mapenzi ya Wechi matuwa kipeza kukwa mshani Potua na kumbuka mapenzi ulio nipa Asubu ikia muka Una nipa mikia mshe kinyo Tena tulipo pigwa na maisha Ulitupa tumaini la kupata maisha Na siku zako zimeisha Na kumbe ya kule juje tajiku vishwa Ruka na malaika Mwendo ume umaliza Safiri salama msalimu maulana tutaona na pata Ruka na malaika Mwendo ume umaliza Safiri salama msalimu maulana Yo sasa na amini yote ni mapenzi ya mua Kisema nani ya pige mapenzi ya Wechi mato kipeza kukwa Mapenzi ya mua Mapenzi ya kea jendeke 
they win, win it my win Sweet Jesus, you are my melody and harmony Sweet Jesus, you are the eyes that rise through Sweet Jesus, yes I'm dancing to your tune Is unchangeable, it's coming after me. Shepherd of my heart, I love how you love me. 